Everything you just said was absolutely correct. And as a man, I could look at you, and if I had children, yeah. I'd be like, yo, listen to this man. He's, he's being very, yeah. very correct. Now, my girl's gonna be like, well, why did he just tell his girl to shut the fuck up? Like, I said shush. Yes, yes. Okay, let me give you an but example. I was dismissive with my hand. No, I know, but you know what this means? Flicking get, the diamonds. Get the fuck out of my face. Shh. Like, this is what every girl here, shut up and go make me a sandwich. This is what, this is what comes off. So you're fighting getting men to be like, yes, but then you turn off the women. Here's the problem. You're trying to make men more men, but men before they listen to you are listening to the girls because they just got a girl They don't want to lose them. They right. did everything that they could to get this girl Correct. So here's the thing when you see a fireman bust into a building that's on fire yep. He's not gonna look at the person and be like what the fuck? Why did you do this? Da, 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 da. He's gonna be like hey, it's okay. Look at me grab my hand come out yep. Why can't you take that approach? I think I am and and it's actually funny when you say I lose to women because I'll tell you something that most people mm. Probably do not know. I don't know if I've said it before. I have never had a negative interaction with a female ever since I blew up on the internet. I've not had a single woman complain at me. I've never had a single woman come up to me and say anything bad. When I was in jail, I had thousands of love letters from women. I've never had a single woman complain about anything I say. Now, I agree. This dismissive, the, the, the diamonds, you know, in the, in the light, I get it. Is it purposeful? I don't want to say it's purposeful. Do I find myself amusing? Certainly. Yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It's funny. But here's the so thing, we could take a joke and we could, under, we could filter the bullshit. Yeah. But females, like you said, they're based off of emotions. Correct. They're going to feel their emotions first and then react. Men are like, oh, that's fucking hilarious. Obviously, he's not going to tell his girl to do that. Yeah. Most likely, the real scenario is like, sweetheart, come sit down. Everything's fine. Listen to me. I'm going to protect you. Absolutely. So uh, I'm just curious to know why don't you just take that approach? Because I know you know what you're doing. You're a chess master. Every move you make, you're yeah. making it for a reason. Are you doing it to be polarizing? There's no light without dark. I don't have many haters anymore. I, for a while, I did. About a year ago, there was a big group of the internet that disliked me. Now, I actually would argue I'm one of the most liked people on the internet. I think people are waking up. People, bro, every single if you read thousands of comments they're all positive i'm mm -hmm. one of the most liked people on the internet and i can give you reasons for why i believe that is but the very few people left to try and dislike me they they fuel conversation and it's interesting for them to it's interesting for me to hear it's interesting for there to be debates regarding things i say i think i i don't think i try and be polarizing i try to be abrasive because i grew up in a world where i was hit very hard by life and i think life is abrasive and i think you learn lessons with a degree of abrasiveness i think if things are too soft and too well explained you don't learn them. I, and, and you can apply that to nearly anything, right? You can go driving your car and drive fast and you can nearly lose the tires 10 times, but you're not going to stop driving like an idiot until you hit a tree. Mm. And then you're going to be like, okay, I learned my lesson. Yeah. So perhaps when I display a point, if I have to self-analyze and answer your question as a professional, when I try and get a point across, if I can do something or say something, which is a bit abrasive, I feel like it teaches better. I'll give an example. If I say women aren't very good at parking, as opposed to females have no spatial awareness. So it's the same thing, but one of them enrages the world. In fact, both of them make them mad, but the second one really makes them mad. Okay. Don't call women females. They hate that. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm just warning you. But, but then they wait, wait, get upset. They actually get upset if you call them a female? Absolutely. I sit on these panel shows with a bunch of women. What do you, you respectfully call them? Females. I just call them females. No, if I know, I want, but if they get offended by that, then what do you call them? Well, exactly. But this is my point. So I can decide how abrasive I want to be. You Got can it. you can you can say the same thing in different ways, and then you're asking me why am I abrasive to be deliberately polarizing? Because I feel like it gets my message across. I feel like it gets my message across better. And even now, the thing I just said, which brought this whole point up, me saying shh and being dismissive, a small way of showing a, a larger meta point and the meta point was i'm uninterested in what you're about to say and your fear and i'm I get, uninterested I, in your fear i get this and usually somebody don't. with a logic understands this yep. somebody who's probably grew up with humor understands this. somebody who grew up with a good father yep. understands this so uh, this is my thing god made you a leader 100 percent. i'll take it okay and now you're leading men yep. but there's a huge crowd of people that you will never understand or touch yep. because i feel you don't give a fuck you're like if you can't come on with me on this journey then get the fuck literally metaphorically and Physically. Well, not all minds are ready to be free. They say it inside of the movie. But which one is is valuable enough to be free? Christ saved everybody. He didn't just come and pick a couple people. Absolutely. But you can only you can lead a horse to war, or you cannot force it to drink. And I feel like the reason why I'm now one of the most liked people there on the internet, and the reason my comments are so positive, I have I have to answer that question, is because I feel like I'm heavily leveraged against chaos. The thing is with my brand, I don't entertain. I do entertain, but that's not my purpose. I'm trying to teach people things. I'm trying to give them things. Even the things I sell are better. Beneficial. I have a school. I'll try and guide you towards God. Either one. I, I'm not even strictly Islam. I believe that if you are a religious person, you're a better person.
regardless of the religion you choose. Because you have to follow your morals and have boundaries. Absolutely. All of my messaging is positive. So as the world gets more messed up, I'm leveraged against chaos. As the world becomes a bigger mess, as people struggle to survive to pay their bills, as people become more and more unhappy, as the wars start, all this craziness, people sit there and go, do I want to be entertained by clowns? Do I want to watch these streamers who are clowns? Or do I want a solution? Do I want some form of stability? Who is saying things which can actually help me, which actually will directly impact my life in real time and make me feel better? And that's me. So I'm not a entertainer in that way, which is why I believe my brand has become so strong and why most people like me. And it's also why a lot of people will forgive me for being semi-abrasive, because I feel like as the world gets more messed up, which it is, people are going to learn some very abrasive, harsh lessons. And sometimes when you've gone through a very harsh lesson, to be given a solution which isn't harsh, you're not going to believe. To be given a harsh solution makes you feel like, okay, this guy knows exactly what he's talking about.